guys, Kamahao is here. I love seeing you, Kamahao. Kelamehiala, mahalo nui. Hao oli vale ko upui wai e ike i a ole ike i ko maka aka. I do get to see your name over here, and then you always participate. So everybody must be wondering how come she always talking to this person named Kamahao. <laughs> That's because Kamahao comes all the time and he's one of our steady eddies. And I see a lot of our other friends joining us too. And well, let's see, I'm going to bring back my screen. And yeah, we're going to be getting started in just a few minutes. And I see everybody joining us here. Aloha no. I'm also going to be pulling up my Facebook and if you can go and invite other friends or if you have Ohana members sitting with you, tell them come. He mai, he mo'olelo kokeia ohana. They got a story to share and I'm sure all of the Ohana members would love to be here with us. So yep, I see it here. Let me turn my audio down. Okay, yep, I got my Facebook page up. I'm gonna actually click on share and I include all of you to also share along. Ooh, aloha e naho. I see almost 100 people joining us on Facebook. And we love going live on Facebook because all of our partners uh, end up going live too. So a big mahalo to all our partners, whether, let's see, who are some of them? When we go live on um, Kanayo Kana's Facebook page, we're also going live on Hawaii Nui Akea's page. We go live on the Office of Hawaiian Affairs Facebook page, OEV TV. Mana Maoli. Um, oh, I'm probably missing a few here, but we're also going live on the Kua Kanaka Facebook page too. So no matter which Facebook page you're joining us on, we're just really happy to have you all here. I see people saying hi and aloha on our Facebook. And we're gonna also be engaging all of you on our Zoom chat. So yeah, oh, I love seeing all our friends join us here on Zoom, um, as well as Facebook. Everybody's so makauka, they're saying they're just so happy to join in and to learn and to learn together. And that's what we love about doing these webinar series. And, you know, I think that's one of the awesome things that have come out of, of this time. Um, that many see as a challenging time, but really I think it's given us an opportunity to find a solution and to be creative. We love being creative and sharing and collaborating and finding new partners. So, Maika Iloa. I see even more friends joining us now on our Facebook page. Woohoo! So yeah, go text two or three of your friends. Tell them come jump on at kanayokana.net slash awinala, which is where all of you clicked on to, to join us here on Zoom. And if I see aloha e kale aloha and kaleo lanima, all our friends joining us on, on our Facebook page. And Let's see, I got a few slides on my end. Okay, so we like to start by finding out who's out there and who's joining us and especially where are you tuning in from? So I like to say aloha to your Aina uh, and tell us where earlier today we had friends joining us from Nairobi, Kenya. We had Ohana joining us from Puerto Rico, Aotearoa. We had about three from Tahiti. And I had special requests to add me on your email list. So I put them right on so they get it on the regular. 
So here on Zoom, I'm seeing Ohana joining us from Hana Pepe, from Eva Beach, Lihu e Kauai. Uh, let's see who else. How about there on Facebook? Oh, Kahului Maui, Waikapu Maui. My Tita Mehana Hine is also joining us there. Kane Ohe is joining us. Where else? Oh, Hilo Paliku, Aiea, Rome, Italy, and they're saying ciao. <laughs> Kaaina kaulana ikapai puhala o keokaha. Aloha no e keokaha. Palolo, Wailua Kauai, Pearl City, El Paso, Orange County, Atlanta, Lahaina Maui, Alia Manu Oahu. Woohoo! We got people joining us from all over. So you can keep. Um, sharing with us where you're tuning in from. I love seeing, you know, and I think eventually we'll like populate a map of all our friends that are joining us. And it would be amazing to, to see that, you know, pop up. And I see Woodland, California, also in Hilo. So aloha no. Palahulu ahupua kau. Yay, Pro City. Aloha no. Oh, and then I had a little kahea because recently Kumu John Osorio, who many of you may be familiar with, he's actually the Dean of Hawaii Nui Akea. He put out a kahea on our Facebook page. And so I wanted to share it here. If you can go, um, we're looking for all of our past Hawaiian language and Hawaiian studies graduates at UH Manoa. So if you can go to this URL, go.hawaii.edu slash, and this is a capital A-H-E, ahe. Um, we're just wanting to connect with you. So you can go to our Facebook page, or if you can go here, then you'll get on. Um, you, we'll have a way to connect with you. So I, I just wanted to share that really quickly. I'm also seeing people joining us from Maryland, from Washington, um all different places washington dc my kai oh and then i had a friend yesterday i was in a halavai zoom <laughs> just like this one um kaimi watson and kaimi is going to be teaching a summer course and he wanted us to put out a kahea if you're interested in this ed i believe this is ed foundations at uh manoa it's uh, history of education in Hawaii. And this is going to be in the um, first half of the summer courses from May 26 to July 2nd. And it's a fully online course. Um, this is the information. You can contact Kaimi Watson. Some may call him Bruce. Um, and this is his email address. Go check him out. You know, he's trying to recruit somehow Mana. So, yeah. Hopefully, some of you out there will be interested in learning more and contributing to the history of education in Hawaii. And he's going to be looking at from Po until 1959. So that should be a really interesting, um, yeah, some interesting research that he'll be sharing there. Okie dokie. Oh, and then I, I'm using the same question from earlier today. If you can put in the chat today, you know, today is National Teachers Day. I'd like to know who is a kumu or a teacher that you want to honor today. If you can type that in the chat, let's say aloha to all these fabulous kumu. And you know, kumu doesn't have to be like your teacher in elementary school or college, because you know, moms are, are teachers, dads are teachers, kupuna, community leaders. So let's see. I, I also see we have people joining us from Boulder, Colorado. Who's out there and who wants to put a, a favorite um, teacher? Mahalo e kamahao. Olelo oya o anake malia. I think, you know, earlier today, and it did come to me as well, one of my favorite kumu, of course, is Anakala Erika Anana. Um, and I'm seeing, oh, Kule saying, Po'okumu Charles Naumu, 
kumuku kahakalao my high school or lelo Hawaii teacher. Uh, let's see, my daughter's fifth grade teacher at St. Anthony School in Kailua, Mrs. I'm not sure if I'm going to say this correctly, Mrs. Stoot. Let's see, I also see here the late, great Harriet Akiona. Kumu lili kala kame elehiva. Kuukupuda wahine or o Julia Lahela Kapada Eric. Eric, I think that's how I should say it. Kumu lena ala kalama. Heli Ihaini, Kumuliko Rogers in Lahaina, uh, another one for Kumulili Kala, Uncle George Naope, Anake Kuule Keakialani. Oh, my Kailoa, Mahalo Nui to Kumu Shanye Kauvela Novikov. She has been very inspirational during my high school years. My Kailoa, so so many amazing Kumu out there. And, you know, I think it would be great to show, share that on social media and maybe today and every day, go, go give a call and put a shout out to your Kumu because we know how, how much Kumu pour into all of us and into our keiki. So go tell them mahalo for all they do. Give them a big hug if, you, if you're in that that vicinity with them and yeah let's let's share some aloha with all of our our kumu so we've reached this time to do some ho'olauna so i'm going to stop sharing and you know i'm malia nobriga Oliveira. i'm really happy to be joining all of you from hanapepe valley kawaii and on behalf of uh manoa hawaii nuya kea we love um having this opportunity to come into your hale, maybe into your office, into your keena, into your room, maybe on your phone, you know. I know people are joining us in all different methods. So we're just really happy. And I'll let um, our special guests today, we're really excited to have them come off mute and, and also introduce themselves. Let's see, maybe I, oh, there you go. Aloha my kako. Um, we're going to start by sharing our screen and um, going over um, protocol first and just doing aloha the way we have been taught uh, the Hawaiian style with our first, hold on one second, with our first slide. Here we go. Can you see the slide okay? Yes. Wonderful. Aloha mai. So we would like to start today with a greeting chant. Um, the pattern of it was taught to us by Uncle Thomas Kaulu Kukui, and he called it an outside-in pattern, which means we start with the most powerful entity, which is the Akua, go down to the Aumakua, then the Ali'i, then the Kupuna, then the Makua, and then the Lehulehu, which includes everybody and that can hear your voice, including the little Mo'o or the Lana Lana on the wall. So um, we, we're just gonna do it together. Please feel free to join us. Um, we're gonna be practicing that each time during this series. And so by the end, for sure, you should be able to chat along with us. But mai hila hila, e oli mai. Aloha e ie, aloha e na akua, aloha e na aumakua, Aloha e na liyo Hawaii. Aloha e na kupuna. Aloha e na makua. Aloha e ka lehu lehu. Aloha e ie. Aloha mai kako. And to center ourselves, we would like to do eho mai a chant that was composed by Auntie Edith Kanakaole and is really built on a traditional pattern where we ask for knowledge from above. We'll do this chant three times. Makau kau? E ho mai kai ke mai luna mai e o na mea huna leo o na mele Eho mai, eho mai, eho mai, eho mai, eho mai. 
whenever we do Hawaiian things and whenever we do anything at all. And so for us, it was only appropriate to start this uh, webinar with a homai. Felina me ki aloha nui a ka ko whakahia pau, o vaono o polani makamai ka oako kalani ka hakalau. Ke ki a ku hina hina kui ka hakai ka hakalau, a mena le ka hakalau. Aloha. O Hawaii ku umokupuni. O hilo ku one hanau. O vai o lena ku ukai. O mauna kea ku umauna. O wai pi o ku uavava. Aloha everyone, greetings. My name is Polani Kahakalao. I am the proud daughter of Ku and Nale Kahakalao and proud mother of Pakai Leo Hilo Mulivaya Kaue Kalani Kahakalao Kalima. Ame no veo le nahili o pua lani kahakalao kalima. Aloha. Waipio in particular is a very, very special place to me. It's the place that reared my sister and I. Waipio taught me how to live off the land, take care of the land, love the land, and appreciate every aspect of this. I can't wait to introduce my keiki to Aloha Aina Malama Aina because that's a very, very important part of who we are as Kanaka Maoli. Mahalo Dui. O wao o ku hina hina kui kahakai kahakalau Keikia Lopaka Kahakalau, Keikia Wiyama Kea Honui Kahakalau, Keikia Daniela Kikino Kahakalau, a Mekiao o Pupele, a Okeia ku Ohana. O Honolulu ku Oneha Nau, O Hawaii ku Mokupuni. O Hamakua ku Moku, O Waipio ku Avava, O Kilawea ku Ulua Pele. So these are some of the places that have shaped me into who I am. I'm known as anti Ku by mostly everybody and uh, I am really excited to be here today. Um, over the years I have learned so much from so many people including the environment also and Makua is special for me. It has shaped me into who I am today because that's where I learned how to dive and how to lay net and learn to trust that the ocean will provide for me as long as I take care of the ocean. And so in your chat, we would like you to please share two places that have shaped you into who you are today. You know, places that have made you into who you are and that you have a special aloha for. Mahalo. My kai, so let's see. Two places that have shaped you. And I'm going to monitor our Facebook page too. You guys know, I, how about out here on Zoom? Oh, Waianai and Maui is what Susie is saying. Papakolea and Aiea. Oh, Palolo and Waikiki. Kalihi and I'm not sure if that's, it says Wahiva, maybe Wahiawa. Kalai, Kamaoa, Ahupua'a, Ka'u. My family, Parapatch in Hanalei, as well as Hanalei Bay. Uh, Leone, American Samoa, and Pro City, my Kailoa. Oh, on Facebook, I'm seeing Aihu Alama and Kalihi, Wailua, Ahupua'a, and Washington, D.C. Kauai and Spain. Oh, <laughs> get a whole variety here. 
Kelpaha and Chicago, Illinois. Kuuiki. O kaala kuu maona, o makaha kuu avava, o makua kuu kai. Ooh, aloha no. Oh, here's another one. This is this will be of interest to you, Ku. Honolulu, and I'm not sure how to say this part. Carl Shore, Carl Zur, Germany. Oh, my kai. Yeah. Yes. Oh, aloha kako. <laughs> So today we wanted to get started in introducing um, a series that we have planned for the next couple of weeks, which is called Namo Olelo Kahiko. Uh, it's a five part series where we're going to be introducing ancient Hawaiian stories to you folks. And um, this series is going to be brought uh, to you by Ea Ecoversity and Kua Kanaka. And we'll talk about both of those entities a little bit today so that you know who we are and what we do. Um, we will be referring to all kinds of olelo no iau. For me, olelo no iau are the verbatim commands of our kupuna. I can still remember the last generation of native speakers and they use this olelo no iau. I can hear them saying those olelo no iau. And so what I've been trying to do, and I know many of us have been trying to do, is make sure that these olelo no iau survive and that we use them again as modern Hawaiian language speakers. If you don't have Olena no Iao, I highly recommend that you get this book that was uh, has over 3,000 sayings that were collected by Mary Kawena Pukui. It's very cheap, less than 20 bucks as an ebook, and you can get it at Bishop Museum Press. Um, it will be an investment well worth it if you're interested in Hawaiian language, culture, and traditions. I look at this book every single day, and I have been for decades, and I still find new things in there. It's a magic book, absolutely magic book. One of the olelo no eau that we use all the time is ohe pau ka ike ikaha lau ho okahi. Can you guys please repeat that? ohe pau ka ike ikaha lau ho okahi. And what that means is not all knowledge is contained in one school. In other words, we can learn from many sources and certainly both myself and Polani have learned from many sources. And it may be, those sources may be different from the sources that you have learned from, but that's okay because our kupuna told us there's no problem with having different sources of knowledge and that we can all learn from many diverse sources. Another olelo no eau that I think is super important as we look at everything Hawaiian is ua lehu lehu a mano mano ka ikena a ka Hawaii. And the whole, let's do it together. Ua lehu lehu a mano mano ka ikena a ka Hawaii. Great and numerous is the knowledge of the Hawaiians. You know, for 200 years, we were told that Hawaiian knowledge is not valuable. We were told that the Ike of Aokupuna is not going to help us in the 21st century, but that is wrong. That's just plain old wrong. And Aokupuna knew that. They told us, lehu lehu amano mano ka ikena akahawai. And when you really look at the word lehu lehu, it actually means 400,000 times 400,000, which is 160 billion. You know, so what does that tell us about our Ike Kupuna? It's infinite. And so we really have to mahalo our kupuna, both for this ike and also for this oleno no eau that confirm this ike. Now, where can we find this ike? Well, a lot of that ike is in our mo'olelo, in our ancient stories. And in those stories, we learn about mo'oku auhau or genealogies. We learn about ike aina or geography, knowledge of the land. We learn mo'olelo or specific Hawaiian historical events and people that have shaped Hawaiian history. Stories also tell us about our kuleana. You know, that's a really important part because our kupuna never just did learning for learning sake. You know, it's not like, okay, now I know it, now I'm smarter. No, it was always you learn so that you have the kuleana to take care of that knowledge and to apply that knowledge. And so these mo'olelo tell us what is our kuleana to Akua? What is our kuleana to Aina? And what is our kuleana to Kanaka? 
Our Mo'olelo also include many important vai-vai or values. They tell us how to be pono. They tell us how to live a good life, how to, again, malama aina, malama akua, and malama kanaka. And most of all, mo'olelo are fun. We love le'a le'a or fun. And I have to say in education, there hasn't been too much le'a le'a lately. So it's at about time that we bring back this le'a le'a and have fun because that's really the way of our kupuna. These mo'olelo are supposed to be things that we enjoy, that we, that we have fun with. And so when we really look at it, traditional education is all about mo'olelo. And we are very grateful that we have so many mo'olelo that have been preserved for us in our Hawaiian language newspapers and in books and also passed down orally from generation to generation. <coughs> in the early 90s, when my daughter Iini, who is Polani Skaikuaana, was born, um, I was in this program uh, where they meet uh, for pregnant teens. I wasn't a teen anymore, but the, the, I was teaching at Honoka'a and they, the tech pregnant, they, we had the highest pregnancy rate in the state. And so when the, the, the program director asked, is, are there any other pregnant Hawaiians? They said, oh yeah, our kubu is Hapai. So I ended up be, being in that class as well. And we made these felt stories. And she said, you know, just make a, a felt story. I never heard of felt stories about some of the stories that you know. And so living in YPO or right above YPO, we, I started thinking about YPO stories and then I said, well, what am I going to do with these felt stories? So we, as we, as my daughter and my, uh, got older and Polani was born, we got together and we taught these felt stories to kids in our neighborhood or the kids in YPO Valley when we had programs there. And then we said, well, it would be nice to have a song that goes along with it. And so this song, Keiki Kaina was born. Uh, some of you may know it, it's uh, my, my sister, Robi Kahakalau, sings it and on, this, on the CD there, you can see Iini and her dancing together in Waipio Valley um, somewhere in the mid nineties. Um, so that the idea of the song was to tell our, our young children to listen to the ancient stories. So the, the chorus goes, Keiki o ka aina la hanaho, Keiki o ka aina la. Ho'olohe mai ka koula. Ho'olohe mai ka koula. Ina mo'olelo la. Ina mo'olelo la. O ka wā ka hiko. O ka wā ka hiko. And what that means is children of the land, let us listen to the stories of the ancient times. Um, this song ended up becoming famous actually but I just recently, when I did a similar um, presentation to another group, I found out that many people know the song, but they don't really know what the song is all about. So our um, series that we are going to be doing for the next uh, five weeks, um, counting today, um, will introduce you to these various stories. And so um, we'll go over um, the, the verses of the song today, just so that you can, um, get familiar with the words. And then for the next uh, four sessions, we will introduce one of these stories each time getting into the detail. So the first one you already know is the hui, keiki o ka aina la, ho'olohe mai ka koula, ina mo'olelo la, o ka wa ka hiko. And we'll say that a bunch more times. So for now, we'll just leave it at that. The first verse is, he ai kanaka o na nawe la. Hana ho? He ai kanaka o na nawe la. Keiki a kamoho la. Keiki a kamoho la. Komo i ke kihe la. Komo i ke kihe la. He waha mano kona. He waha mano kona. Now, if I was the Zoom director and could see all you guys, I would say, not everybody's lips are moving. So please, if your lips wasn't moving, make sure they move um, as we say, keiki o ka aina la together. Makao kao? Keiki o ka aina la, ho'olohe mai ka koula, ina mo'olelo la, o ka wa ka hiko. Mai kai, there's a few more who didn't move their lips, but we'll get them. Next verse is, 
He ilio kiko kiko kupai na hala. He ilio kiko kiko kupai na hala. O pua pua le na le na la. O pua pua le na le na la. Ho i ho i ki ha pula. Ho i ho i ki ha pula. How oli o wai pi o. How oli o wai pi o. All right, and everybody to get oh, and then there's no kick you kind. It goes right into the next verse, which is the third story. He ali i kau lana o umila. He ali i kau lana o umila. Keiki puna hele ali loa la. Keiki puna hele ali loa la. He enalu akamaila. He enalu akamaila. Mo i ha aha a olu olu. Mo i ha aha a olu olu. And here we go again. Keiki, everybody. Keiki o ka aina la. Ho olohe mai ka koula, ina mo olelo la, o ka wā ka hiko, mai kai. And the last verse, he akua lili o pele la. He akua lili o pele la. Aloha ya lohi aula. Aloha ya lohi aula. Ki i mai ohi i akala. Ki i mai ohi i akala. I ka ipono hea. I ka ipono hea. Aha hana la. Aha hana la. And keiki o ka aina la, ho'olohe mai ka kou la, ina mo'olelo la, o ka wā ka hiko. And we end up with haina, haina mai ka puana la. Haina mai ka puana la. Ho'olohe mai ka kou la. Ho'olohe mai ka kou la. Ina mo'olelo la. Ina mo'olelo la. O ka wā ka hiko. 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 Listen to the ancient stories. Listen to the ancient stories. All right. Are we ready to sing along? Here we go. Kahi lua koro. Can you hear it okay? Yeah, I want to see those lips moving.
my Kailo. You guys did a great job singing your Pai Pai Lima Kako. My Kai Kako. And so uh, what we will do in the next weeks is to go over each of these stories um, that are captured in one single verse in this song um, and go into detail about these stories. Um, we will start with Nanawe, the story of Nanawe on May 12th, and then do Pua Pua Lena, Lena on, oops, I got to move my, yeah, on May 19th. Then we will have, oops, sorry, uh, Umi Aliloa on May 26th, and then our final story, Pele and Lohiau is going to be on June 2nd. And these are going to be on Tuesdays at 2 o'clock on the same channel. Now, for those of you who are really studious and want to know more about these stories, you can already start reading. Um, interestingly, this, um, these stories, and I had no idea, but they're all found in this one book called Hawaii Island Legends. And you can get that for free on ulukau.org. So if you're interested in, in learning more about Hawaiian legends either way, or you can join us during those days, uh, go uh, download Ulu, uh, Hawaiian legends, um, which was uh, compiled by Auntie Mary Kawena Pukui and then um, um, retold uh, by Caroline Curtis. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful resource to have. Okay, here we go. So Nanawe, who we're going to be talking about the next time, he's also in Waipio known as Nenewe. So Nanawe Nenewe. You see how uh, the, the language before we had different dialects in different places. And so while he's known throughout the islands as Nanawe, most people in Waipio refer to him and the waterfall and the pool that is named after him as Nenewe. And he is the child of Kamohoali'i. And we will learn more about Kamohoali'i not just in the Nanawe story, but also a little bit in the Pele and Lohiao story. So here are a few words for you to start practicing so that you're going to be Makao Kao for this story. The first word is Aikanaka. Oh, we're starting with a mean word. Aikanaka. Hano, Aikanaka. Aikanaka. Kui opihi. Kui opihi. Wahamano. Wahamano. Kua. Kua. Kihei. Kihei. Ii'o. Ii'o. Halemua. Halemua. Kupunakane. Kupunakane. Wailele. Wailele. Kiovai. Kiovai. Poalima. Poalima. So these are some of the words that we're going to be using next week in our story on Nanawe. Aikanaka means man eater. So ai kanaka, person who ai who eats kanaka people. Kui opihi is to pound opihi or to gather opihi. Wahamano is a shark mouth. Kua is your back. Kihei is a shoulder covering that we use mostly for ceremonies. Io means meat. So io pua'a would be pork. Io moa would be chicken. Io pipi, beef, right? You can, um, io in generic is meat. Halimua is the men's eating house that the boys joined at about the age of five or six after going through the Kaimua ceremony. Kupunakane, I think most of you are familiar with his grandfather. Wailele means waterfall. Kiovai is a pool, and not a howly swimming pool, but a natural pool in the, in the mountains, uh, in the valleys. And Poalima is a community work day where everybody got together to work in the Ali'i's tarot patches or did do other work for the Ali'i. And here on the side, on the right-hand side, you actually see Nanawe or Neneve Falls that we're going to be talking about much more in detail next week. So what I'd like you to do in the chat is please type one or two of your favorite ancient Hawaiian stories. These are just some of the stories that I knew that ended up in this 
in this song, Kate Yokaina. And actually, the way that the song is made, you can, if you have a story, let's say, of Hana Pepe, you can create that same, uh, make four lines and then just integrate it and have your own your own verse that is just for your place or for your story. And that's something that I would love to offer all of you as a gift to create your own four liners of a story um, that is an ancient story that, of your place and then insert it into Kekio Kaina. And if you need help with it, please contact me and I'll be happy to help you. It's not that hard. So in the chat, please type one or two of your favorite ancient Hawaiian stories so that in the future we can make sure that we share those stories also with everybody because it's really sad that so many of these stories have been forgotten. There's so, a few, I'm seeing a few in the chat like Naupaka story, Kamapua'a, Makaliuva'a, Lauka Ie'ie, Keahi Akahoi, um, Ka'ahupahau, on okay. Facebook, I see people saying Kaulu Laau, Ai Ai, Pele and Hiiaka story. I would like to learn more about Kihavahine. Okay. Um, I like La Ie Kavai as well as Mo'olelo of Ka'ala or O'ahu Mauna. Right. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Every place has not just one, but many stories. And the interesting thing is also that many stories involve not just one place, but many places. You know, um, we will see that Nanawe is not just in Waipio Valley, but that he also travels to Maui and does things over there. He travels to Molokai. He can be found in Makua. So we have certain characters that really travel back and forth our islands um, as if we had Hawaiian Airlines. I mean, they're just moving, they're traveling. And that shows us that our kupuna were definitely travelers and knew our, their islands very well. Because for example, in the, in the story of Pele in Hi'iaka, that mentions hundreds and hundreds of place names. Not one of them is out of place. Not one of them is in the wrong geography. So it shows the incredible, again, Ike, that Ike lehu lehu a mano mano of our kupuna. You know, I, I saw a few people comment um, on Facebook um, one asked, or they asked a question too about the Keikyo Kaina song. Where can they get the CD? Can they buy it in the store still, or can they get it on Apple Music? Yeah, they can get it on Amazon and on Apple Music, I'm pretty sure as well. They can download just one song, or they can download the whole CD. Um, but it's available um, uh, online at this point. Probably you have a better chance of, of ordering it online than trying to find it in the store. You would have to go like towards the, the old songs. The, because it's been a while. Yeah, it, this was like in 19, I don't know, the mid 90s some, sometime that uh, my sister Roby recorded this, this album. I think it was her first solo album um, that she recorded, her first solo CD that she recorded, yeah. Oh, Justin is saying that it's also on Spotify. Ooh, so yeah. you can go look on Spotify as well. And then, um, Moana was saying on Facebook, oh, where can we learn more about the ceremony? I think you were mentioning about um, earlier. Yes. So one of the things that we do at Kuokanaka is we also work with community organizations and with individuals to introduce them to Hawaiian ceremonies and to protocol. So if you stay tuned to our Kuokanaka series, uh, after our Mo'olelo, I think the next thing then that we would be looking into is doing some uh, protocol webinars, which we have already developed. We just haven't done it on this channel yet. So I, I'm pretty sure that that's something that we can do um, if there's enough interest in protocol and in ceremony. And if not, you can. I, I'll have, we have our um, website and our address at the end, and so you can always uh, contact us also um, if you have specific questions or if we can help you in any way. We've really been blessed um, to have had uh, a wonderful um, kumu and mentors in uh, for myself at Dipua Kanaka Ole Kanahele, and for my husband Uncle Ed Kanahele, her husband, and we've we've been really honored 
to have learned from them since the 1980s um, and then started to do our own ceremonies, obviously, uh, and continuing to do those ceremonies. Just not too long ago, we had our second makahiki at Pohakuloa to pray for peace and rain uh, for that area that's still being bombed by the military. So we, we, we actively uh, do ceremonies as part of a way of life, uh, part of this whole concept that we call ku akanaka. To us, ku akanaka really means to stand as a Hawaiian, literally, but to live like a Hawaiian and to be Hawaiian. And part of that, for sure, are ceremonies. Um, so if it's all right, Malia, then I will do a little bit of, uh, tell you a little bit more about Kua Kanaka. Yeah. Uh, we are a family owned and operated Native Hawaiian social enterprise. And our aim is to provide quality products and services that revitalize our native language, culture and traditions, including ceremonies that restore a Hawaiian way of life where we share, where we gift one another. And that reconnects Kanaka worldwide because we have seen already our Kanaka are literally around the world with their native heritage. Our um, website, you can find us at www.kuakanaka.com and our, lower, our, our um, motto is when natives thrive, everyone benefits, you know? So this is about Hawaiians. Definitely, we're all about educating Hawaiians. But the good news is that that's going to help everybody. And, and we are not uh, exclusive in any way uh, because we truly believe that um, the, the values that our kupuna have left for us are values that are so important today. And as we emerge from this scary kind of time of, of uh, really not knowing what's going to be next, I think it's going to be the practices and values of our kupuna that will empower us and that will enable us to create a new yet old, an ancient yet modern world um, that really uh, focuses and is based on the same things as our, that our kupuna believe, which is to malama akua, malama aina, and malama kanaka. Um, so our <laughs> motto uh, in terms of how we operate is makahanaka ike. It's plain and simple. Can you see say that together? Makahana kaike. And it basically means by doing what learned. So everything that we know, we have really learned by experience. And we've done you know, over 30 years of working in the DOE, studying our own summer programs, studying our own schools. Um, and then as in 2015, starting our own social enterprise and this year launching AI University and we'll talk about all of these things. But overall, it's been 35 years of education with Aloha. And so what we are talking about is not something that we read in books. It's something that we experienced. And in the case of Polani, experienced since birth. She's not even 35 years old yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, we've been doing this, my husband and Nale and I for a very, very long time and we are so excited to be at a place in our lives now where we can share this ike. Probably the most well-known product of Kua Kanaka is our cards for 808 and um, if you haven't ordered it you can order that online as well. Uh, we started out with the main pack and two extension packs and then just recently in 2019 you know after all that action on the Mauna we said we need to do an Aloha Aina pack. And so if you're interested in Cards for 808, it's a fun game to play while learning about Hawaiian history, Hawaiian culture, culture, but also about local things. So it's, it's really a, a game for locals and uh, our sidebar is if you're local, you get chance. <laughs> um, we also provide all kinds of other services, consulting and rep design. Um, we do uh, keynotes and lectures and translations and everything else. Um, including um, teaching, uh, specifically teachers, on uh, Hawaiian culture-based education. So this uh, semester I was co-teaching a, a, a course with Dr. Tracy Tokuhama Espinosa, who is a, uh, a neuroscientist from Harvard, and we were teaching this uh, B-credit um, Kamehameha School course called Mind, Brain, and Na'au. And she did the mind and brain part, and I did the na'au part. And would you know that we are exactly in sync? So the latest 
brain research, neuroscience from Harvard says exactly the same thing as our Olelo no Eau, imagine that. And so we've been able to do not just old and Hawaiian and traditional things, but really align ourselves with the latest in anything that coming out of education from the most respectable Western institutions. We've also, um, since we've been doing online education for a little while now, have been uh, working on training um, all kinds of different organizations and individuals on how to deliver education with Aloha, which we call EA for short, or Hawaiian culture-based education online. Because um, it is important for us now to A, use technology and B, use um, the, the information that we have to get that out to people using, in this case, online education. We also do professional development by helping people to create felt stories. And so, for example, we are talking about Pele, right? Pele's migration from Tahiti to Hawaii and her search for a home. So we've developed these characters. Here is Tutu Pele, is the island of Kahiki, then our Va'a, Kamohoali'i, the brother of Pele, who guides the Va'a all the way first to Ni'ihau, where Pele takes her lua, but it fills with water, and she goes all the way down the chain until she finds her home in Kilauea. And so uh, by creating these felt stories, um, it helps people then to tell the stories at home by having these little pieces, just the way I did in 1993 when Iini was born. So we, we revived that after you know, 20 something years, we really realized it's a wonderful, wonderful way to tell stories. And if you need help with us, let us know. Um, we also uh, offer all kinds of other experiences like our Kanaka Kitchen, where we teach how to cook Hawaiian food, Maka Olelo Hawaii. So we get together about 15 of us in the kitchen and we just, we prepare Hawaiian food, ulu chips, um, uh, luau wontons, um, you know, uh, ialavalu, whatever it is, and we're doing it all in Olelo Hawaii. And it's a wonderful, wonderful way to get ma'a to Olelo Hawaii without having to sit in a class, looking at a book and filling out boring worksheets. So it's been a lot of fun. And um, this is uh, at Roots Kitchen in Kalihi when we did our uh, Kanaka Kitchen there. And for many people, it was a special and nourishing event. Um, and they really, really enjoyed um, getting over their fears. You know, so many people are afraid of talking, right? So in Kanaka Kitchen, you don't have to talk too much. You just gotta listen and do whatever we tell you to do. Chop the onions, put this in the oven, take this out of the oven, whatever it is. And because we go over all the vocabulary, it's really, really easy. And most of all, it's lots of fun. Um, one of the other things that we've developed is a hula drama production that Polani has been in charge of. So one thing, not one thing, but one of the things that um, our Makua have always taught my sister and I is for us to always give back to our community. So we had the privilege and honor of working with the um, Keiki of Pa'uilo with the Hui Mao after school program. And um, these kids range from K through eighth grade. And um, we did the production of Umiali Loa with a hula drama. So we had the Haumana learn olis of their area of, of Pa'uilo, of Waipi'o, um, learning the Mo'olelo of Umi and where Umi was born and everything. And so we actually got to go and their first performance was in the environment just to bring it to life and to give it to our natural elements first before performing it to their Mapu and their community members. So the Haumana learned the, the balance of, of doing um, doing things out in the environment as well as being um, with the people and doing things for their people. So um, Umyalilo, which is one of the productions that we did, uh, nice hula drama and very, very simple kind, you know, nothing too extravagant that they can understand or do. And the, the keiki played the role as Umi and Hakau and Akahia Kuleana, you know, and they learned the, the inoa of their kupuna and actually learned that it is their kupuna when they go back and do their genealogy. So it was, it was just such a wonderful opportunity to give back to the community of Hamakua for me. 
and and Polanyi was supposed to teach another summer hula drama production summer program, but it got canceled, unfortunately. But we've been doing these hula drama since the 90s. We started in Waipio Valley with Hoike after our Kukulu Kumohana immersion camps. And then when we started our school within the school, that was our Hoike for the school year. And so in 1997, we did Umi Loa because that's Honoka is in that same area as Pa'uilo and Honoka Theater. Um, and it was just a wonderful, wonderful event and a sold out um, theater. So um, these are really fun um, productions that bring our ancient stories alive. That's the whole point of this is to bring it alive. And so that people remember these chiefs that walked through their villages, you know, in a couple hundred years ago, um, and that many people are descended from, as um, Polani explained. I like I how I like how that's also a collaboration with the other organizations and the schools because we've actually had Noel um, as a guest speaker on the Aikole with Ekela. And I remember visiting Pa'awilo and uh, seeing the murals that the, the Ohana and the community worked on. And then um, they also shared with us the coloring book. Nice. And so, yeah, I, I like how um, to just hear about how all of this is being woven together. I think that's a beautiful way because our, our keiki really, like you said, bring it to life. Yes. And we also do lots of volunteer service. We uh, yearly host um, a homeless cakey dinner in Hilo. And just this past today, actually, yeah, did you send off yeah. your cards for yeah. Kupuna? So we can talk about that a little bit. Um, on Instagram, I saw a post uh, by Coronavirus Hawaii and they had mentioned that um, the Kupuna are just feeling lonely these days and just need a little cheering up. So they had requested um, the community, you know, our Pai'ain of Hawaii to send letters to our kupuna. And so we got together as a ohana um, from my keiki and my mama and my tita and my kane, and we created these letters of aloha. And basically every single letter that we shared with our kupuna um, had an olelo no eel that had to deal with aloha. And these cards were made from recycled materials around the hale. Um, they're actually, the base of them are actually cereal boxes. So utilizing what we have during this time and just bringing them to life, because we have to, we have to use everything that we have. And so our latest project is AI University, which is a post-secondary program that transitions Hawaiian youth and young adults uh, to responsible 21st century Hawaiians and global citizens. And it's built based on our pedagogy of aloha that we have developed over the last 35 years that believes that relations are the most important thing to have good education. Uh, and then it, things have to be relevant. What you're learning about has to make sense. You have to understand that you have a kuleana to the things you learn. And then the outcome is going to be fabulous and it's going to be fun, which is what it's supposed to be all about. And so uh, AI University has four uh, specific components. Uh, everybody has to learn about Hawaii. Hawaiian language, culture, and foundations. If you already have them, you can test out of that. They have to learn about financial um, literacy and economic interdependence and uh, have uh, your academic foundations. That means you can learn anything you want to learn, any major that you want to choose. Um, and then also Aloha Aina, you know, not just talking about Aloha Aina, but practicing Aloha Aina and having a real relationship with the land, which means a land stewardship, internships, etc. cetera. Um, we're, most of our courses are gonna be online, such as um, the, the course, the uh, seminars that we're gonna be doing starting next week. Um, and they're on ancient stories, hakumele, lay making protocol, and all kinds of other things. And we've developed these already. So um, if you would like to be on our mailing list, uh, please put that into your chat. And then um, we will save that and we will add you to our Kua Kanaka mailing list. Then you know what's happening at Kua Kanaka. And so we would like to close. Remember when we started, we started with Aloha e and we went from outside in. We started with the Akua, then the Aumakua, then the Ali, the Kapuna, the Makua and the Lehuleho. By us now saying goodbye and saying mahalo, we're gonna go the exact opposite way. We're gonna start with the Lehuleho, then the Makua, then the Kupuna, 
then the ali'i, then the omakua, and then the last thing is akua. It's going to be the same air, so I think you will be able to follow along. And then after that, we will have uh, information on how you can get in touch with us. Makau kau. Mahalo e ie. Mahalo e kalehulehu. Mahalo e na makua. Mahalo e na kupuna. Mahalo e na lio Hawaii. Mahalo e na umakua. Mahalo e na akua. Mahalo e ie. Mahalo nui to everybody. We want to close with one more alela no yao that was said by King Liholiho when he went to England in 1824. Now in England in 1824, anybody who was brown or black was considered a savage. Sometimes they called them noble savages, but he was still a savage. And he shows up looking good. He's looking fine. He can speak English. He knows how to use forks and spoons. And they're just blown away. And they go, how can that be? We thought he was a savage. And he goes, who would not be wise to walk on the path walked upon by my parents and my ancestors? And I think that's our message to everybody. Ancient stories help us learn from the past. They help us understand the present and have hope for the future. They're the iki of our kupuna. And we're looking forward to next week, Tuesday, two o'clock. Uh, to share with you the story of Nanawe. And My here's God. our contact information here. Mahalo Nui. So you see it here on, on the screen right now, how you can connect with Kua Kanaka with both Ku as well as Polani Makamai. And you can go visit them on their website and send them an email. I see a lot of even uh, you got to go check the um, Facebook chat too later because I see a lot of put, people putting their emails over there. Maybe to even be sure, send a direct email over to um, ku at ku at kuakanaka.com. My kailoa. So, you know, I think we're getting close to our ending. Let's. Um, I think we can take a few questions. Okay. If there's anyone, um, if you would like to put in uh, one or two questions in the Zoom chat, as well as on the Facebook book chat. I did see earlier a lot of, um, some were asking actually about the Hawaiian, uh, the Cards for 808. What is that website again? It's www.cardsfor808.com. So okay. just Cards for 808, one word. Great. So that was one of them. Some are getting really excited about looking for the cards. Some have said, oh, I have the cards and I love them, but I need the new add-on packs. <laughs> um, let's see. And we're creating one more right now that's going to be released later on in the year. Um, I'm not too sure yet. I think it's something like for the boys, but I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, one time um, Kumu Haoli and Kule Akaka, they brought their halal over to Kauai and it was for the Mokihana Festival. And my ohana went to go and support them. And afterwards, after we had our meai, we all sat around in the hotel room and we they brought out the cards for 808 with the hula pack. Oh. Why? It was so good fun. It was so good fun. And we was pu'iva at some of the answers, you know, but that's what makes it really fun. Yeah, I think our kupuna, you know, lea lea was such an important value and we seem to forget about it. But when you go down the beach, you see the uncles, you see them cracking up all the time, right? And you go see the aunties working in the kitchen, you hear them laughing all the time. And that is our Hawaiian way of life. And we were hoping with Kua Kanaka to and with Cards for 808, you know, to, to support and to, to further, to advance that kind of lea lea of our kupuna. Maika'i, and I, um, I see two questions. Um, one on Facebook says, what mo'olelo puke is good to start with? Well, I, I think the one that, that we showed you, uh, Hawaiian uh, Island Legends is a nice one. 
um, to start with because the, the, the stories are kind of short. Yeah. Um, I would say go to Ulukau and there's just so much free materials. I mean, if you want to hello, hello, maka olelo Hawaii, if you want to read in Hawaiian or hello, hello in olelo haole, um, there's just so much resources there. And then um, I think from there you can kind of see what stories you're interested more. My kai mahalo. And then some people are asking where you can view this again. And actually that's coming right up. I'm gonna show you a link where you can see all of these are being recorded. They're on Facebook and you'll be able to watch any one of the episodes. So it's a great resource um, and a great, yeah, you can watch this over and over and sing the mele along and go download that. So any closing thoughts from both of you before I bring up our final slides? Mahalo Nui to everyone who joined us today. We hope to see you throughout the next couple of weeks. Mahalo. Uh, we really appreciate um, Kamehameha Schools um, and everybody who's making these webinars possible. I think it, it's a beautiful thing that we see so many organizations coming together and working together. Now, kupuna another I would say pupu kahi holomua. United we progress, and this is a time now for us to unite and to build on our strengths and to celebrate the ike, this ike lehu lehu and mano mano of our kupuna. And we love to do that by telling ancient stories. So we're looking forward to uh, being with you folks next week, Tuesday at two o'clock for the story of Nanawe or Nenewe, the shark man. Hi, mahalo nui. We're really excited to partner with Kua Kanaka and to, to partner with your whole Ohana because I know we got people behind the scenes as well, helping and also to Malama Keiki. So, <laughs> Mahalo Nui and yeah, please come back. Um, and the best, oh, first of all, I, I wanna ask all of you that are here on Zoom as well as on Facebook to please go and fill out our survey and tell us what you thought about today's presentation and how can we serve you better? There's also a place in there to add your email if you wanna get on our email list. Um, we, we also have a space there to add in topics of things you're interested in learning. Um, so yeah, take a few minutes, go to kanayokana.net slash survey. And I promise you it's only about six or seven questions. So it's really quick. So for those of you who are asking on where you can watch this again, if you go to kanayokana.net slash lay, you'll be able to one, see the schedule of all the upcoming programs. You'll also be able, as you continue to scroll down, you'll see all the listing of our past programs. And you know, we're almost gonna hit uh, session 40 pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. We have all the names of the presenters, the links to resources. We've had art classes, we've had Papa Mele, and you know, you see some of our, this morning we had a Kaulana Mahina class with Kalei Nuhiva. Tomorrow you gotta come back for our Aikole sessions. And I believe tomorrow is when Halekua Mo'o will be sharing some of um, all the great things that they've been producing and making for so many years, just like Ku and Kua Kanaka and that 35 years of, of really serving our community. So mahalo nui. So go and find that schedule at kanayokana.net slash lay. And that'll be the best place to get the most up-to-date information. Again, a mahalo nui loa to Kua Kanaka for joining us and for this collaboration that we will continue over the weeks. And on behalf of Kanayokana, our Kula Hawaii Network, as well as Hawaii Nui Akea, we ask you to stay connected with us, go to our Facebook page, as well as our Instagram page. And you can also go look for Kua Kanaka too and go follow them. Cause once you click on that follow and like button, that's how it comes into your feed. And then you can stay connected with us. So again, a big mahalo to all our behind the scenes people from Kanayokana to everyone in our community. Mahalo to each of you for joining us today. 
again, come back and we got more planned for the entire week. So, ke aloha nui, ya oko pakahi. Mahalo nui and aloha. Aloha. Mahalo.